Hey, Flame here, and welcome back to another Young Young Tales reaction. Woo! Today, we're reacting to experiencing his first anime expo. Okay, I'm gonna break it down to you. I have not gone to an AX before. Do I plan on going? Most likely not. If I am. Uh, what is it? What's the word I'm thinking of? If I am. If they want me to be there as a not a host what's the, what's the word whatever if I'm invited out to be there as a as a guest is that the right word whatever then I will most likely consider it but as a, just a regular customer no thank you long lines too many people I don't wanna my friend went I saw his story he was waiting in line for a long time and yeah I don't want to this summer I went but to who, anime if you expo go in you LA like it as redemption for last year we only you. had less than a day to see hey haiku the convention had to let's offer. go and our, because this happened I have my first uh, time ever, the number three jersey because I look like of anime Asahi expo. from so haiku while we did have quite a fun time at line con at least we didn't try to go on day one yeah so, as an avid Disneyland fan mm -hmm. I'm not phased by long lines. my friend went I on day one in line for rise of resistance without a fast pass Ooh, that said, look I at feel you safe for this one because we did have to loop around some very questionable areas this hey. was LA so I was yeah. afraid of getting attacked by a crazy person now like this guy with a sword can protect me now I mean, here's I the guess thing I was if you're afraid so they been okay. people will know you afraid and you become an easier target you gotta after waiting in line for maybe about act an like hour or so we you're finally okay get our and you know what you're doing and you know where you're the going okay they target the weak how do i know this because i will rob you i'm i'm playing, Never I'm playing, before I'm playing. In my you're... have i been surrounded by such a beautiful sight like where do i even begin the rush the might be a good start. I may have drank a little too much tea on the way up here, and tea? I wasn't about to what use those porta potties. Okay, I'm playing. I'm playing. In the uh, meantime, there's a gojo, you, sir. Look like you could use some help. Well, let me get you something better. Uh huh. All right, with business mm. taking care of the real. That business was a people. long. This place long is massive. Anime Expo. Chop like, off, Kareem, Wing Kareem. Okay. There's no time to waste. We got anime stuff. Yeah. To see. To step on yes. Money to spend on stuff. Yes. Day to get as much free stuff as possible. You will come out as a different man. We figured the best thing to do was to split up. They all want a squad. I want to do a squad cosplay so bad. Yeah, uh, Susan, who is also here for the first time. That's I totally want to do a P5 squad. Oh, Phantom Thief group cosplay, okay? Twice. I, I want to be Joker. How so many people were in cosplay. Ew, Roy like Mustang, up get him out of here. Expo and weren't wearing a costume, then you were considered a weirdo. That's kind of true. And the amount of time true. and effort that's these people put true. into their costumes is just truly admirable. Like I saw a Gundam that I was like 90% sure that's cool. somebody was in it. I bet this guy got a six pack just for this for event. For the cosplay, so yeah. people can be like, oh. Dang, yeah. those are not fake abs. To those be fair, real. I will probably do They're the same. They're not getting paid for this either, I don't think. Maybe getting pictures taken of them and admiration yeah. from random strangers is payment enough. That's Seeking true. recognition and fame. Oh, how superficial. Speaking of pictures, I did find it strange how people would want to take pictures with me, not because they recognize me from my YouTube no, channel, it's but because you're of my haiku cosplay. Yeah. So they didn't even know how famous I was. No. <laughs> This guy has no idea how. That's how I am too. I'll be like, ha! Hey, do you even know how? They don't, I they say, don't though, know. I am -Oh playing. Merch, not very impressed. You see this face? This is the face of huge disappointment. I see this really blue cool looking statue of a blue eyes dragon. dragon in front of the booth, thinking, oh shoot! Clearly, if they care to decorate their booth this nicely, clearly the merch should also mm, look good. But what nah. do I find? Cheap looking PNG from Google Images slapped on a T-shirt that cost like sixty bucks. Come yeah. on, guys. I'm assuming you were licensed to do this, right? There's just so much potential that you can make mm -hmm. something really cool. But what do you decide to make? Dark magician boxers? What even is this? Okay. No wonder they only I won't be down to get that. Monsters nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is a joke. While waiting in line for my badge, I passed this dude. I'm not kidding. I will get some. Dragon I have a dark now, magician shirt. This guy would be wearing a sweater in California summertime. It's completely beyond me. But okay, before you say anything, summer in LA is not hot. If you think it's hot, you're just a weak person. Okay. It's not hot. I wear sweaters here in LA every day do i get hot no it just feels 
It feels like room temperature to me. I don't know. What's that big fuss about? You just weak. Get better at it. Go to a sauna. Build up your you, heat resistance. Is totally I am feeling my throat, so like, it makes sense. I Googling for it, but all I got were stuff like this. Hey, these look like the stuff the booths were selling. Yeah. Lame. Ugh, man, why was I too See, shy? See, this, this is where I really that don't buy shirts. Bummer. Anyways, I think it's pretty clear that you pay why. money to really get don't. into Anime Expo to spend more money. But yeah. Anime Expo veterans, I'm just curious. Like, are there certain things you should never buy at Anime Expo? Like, it what depends. are the do's and don'ts? In my mind, t-shirts should be definitely one of them. Yeah. Like these, for example. The design could suck, but the material sucks. Or the entire thing sucks in general, mm. but if someone actually bought it, that's kind of on them. Or the most heinous of all, they didn't even design it. Let's just say I saw several designs that I have definitely seen elsewhere. Art thievery is very bad. Personally, I know if I was to be buying a t-shirt, I would be looking for material that feels nice and soft, will true, survive multiple true, washes, makes sense, and because it has to be comfy, rocks, pleasing to the eye. You know, you something don't want to that waste is pretty money clear that the artist has a lot of love and care into creating. Not worth it Just after three opinion. wears. Notice hey. how I didn't say body pillow or any of those other questionable non-family friendly items because eh, clearly, body pillows anyone that can simply not really walk up to the owner and complain to the world. It just depends on the design of the pillow Shiba, case. I shall shamelessly be taking that inappropriate pillow home with me. Shut up and take my money. That person must give zero Fs about what everyone else thinks and you know yeah. what has therefore earned my respect. Yeah. That is something You're I welcome. would never do. <laughs> just ordered online. It's not like I went into Anime Expo completely blind without any standards on what I should and shouldn't buy. My criteria, which applies to any time I go to a convention, I mean, the was best basically way, that set up a it budget. had to be unique, something I don't see very often, one of a kind, therefore most likely more expensive, but that's probably okay, or just way too cool to pass up, aka, I'll know it when I see it. So I did have- Normally, I just set up a budget, like, you know, I'll waste, because like, sometimes I go to like these small ones, and for me, like, in this moment, I'll, be like, I'll, I'll just be like, uh, I'll waste around probably, like, $200. If I go to a bigger one, I'll probably be like, you know what, let's 400 maybe 500 max. It's a good way to budget. Those to guide me. So, it's just first that, of all, you obviously, know, you're not wasting way too much money. And you two, cards and certain plushies are uh, involved. you could, like, so, yeah. quantity over quality or the do quantity not over quality. Quality. For me, oh, like, I I, I'm more miserably. of a kind of Anytime a Anytime these eyes laid upon a booth I kinda that like, sold individual Yu-Gi-Oh cards or had a massive good quality. display That's why of Pokemon a lot of, plushies. I buy a lot of figures because oh, you can get a lot of figures at good prices. This one booth in particular was just my absolute Christmas night because it had both binders upon Whoa, binders that's of cool. Yu-Gi-Oh cards and boxes of Pokemon plushies. Nice. I'm talking Yamega, what? Full Corona, yeah? Durant, yeah? Whisk Cash. Let's go. If there was a giant Sensor Scorch plushie, I don't know what I would have done. But there it was. Not the Sensor Scorch plushie, but a Rayquaza? large Rayquaza plushie. Yeah, he said it right. Fair Let's go. Rayquaza plushies, and they just are absolutely terrible. Yeah. But this they one look actually goofy. looks really good. And not only that, Long this snack. was bendy. Now begs the question, how much is it? Well, let's uh, just say it's gonna be this a lot. is one of those items that I would call a flex buy. Because for a moment, everyone will see you purchase it and be like, whoa, both in admiration and judgmental tone. True, I gotta true. say, this one was definitely very tempting despite the price. You know, your mm -hmm. friends are supposed to be like the voices of reason, but all I voices got during this time head. was, do it. Do they it, do talk it, do to it. me, do it. they money, understand bro, it. it. Talk in the to end, me. let's just say, I had my flex moment. Hey. Because now is a good time to show okay, off the way that he wore it, that's kind of a flex around your neck. And that's kind of cool. And justify why they actually met my criteria. In addition to my glorious Rayquaza ah. plushie, I got a very soft Gyarados plushie. Why is the it furry? Moment, I didn't see the same kind weird. anywhere else. I got a Scent Scorch Pokemon card. It's actually nice. the first Pokemon card I bought. Clearly, it's the best card there is. That's totally mm. fact, not just my opinion. I got two Mystery Yu-Gi-Oh <gasps> card packs. Okay, I guess this doesn't Black meet Rose the criteria. Dragon? But it's too tempting to pass up, okay? I got Black a lot Rose of Dragon free bags. Cool. This guy saw that I was wearing a Haikyuu cosplay and gave mm -hmm. me this Kageyama stand thing. So that was pretty cool. That's and he cool. didn't even Acrylic. know how famous I was. I got some manga books. I don't really intend on my reading the story. I mainly my just friend want to look gave at the me that book. and look for references. And before the day was winding down, <laughs> I managed to nab the last copy of Yoshimichi Kameda Artworks Ooh. book. Which basically shows That's the animation cool. keyframes from animes he worked on. If anything, this That's was kind of cool. the most yeah. productive thing I bought. But unfortunately, by the end of it, we all realized we missed one crucial aspect of Anime Expo that everyone the should see. Anime Artists women! Howie. Okay, never mind. In the end, due to impulsivity and the lack of time constraint discipline, we did not get to experience everything that we wanted. Not even close. 
even my friends that have been here before didn't even see Artist Alley either because they made mm. the same mistake last year in the <laughs> panel. I didn't get to see the panels, which, by the way, sounded <laughs> really cool. Animation, storytelling, fight scenes, choreography, okay, that one, okay, the sound fight effects, scene, choreography. all the things that I would be interested I care about in those learning two. more about that aren't really covered at VidCon. That's Why have true. I not come sooner? That's a shark. So, yeah, that was my experience at Anime Expo. Am I sad I missed some important stuff? Yeah. Yes. Dying Magician, that was cool. Also, yes. Would I pay to have someone step on me? Yes. Who knows? Okay, but is it even, like, realistic that you can experience all of Anime Expo in one? I mean, I've been stepped on by a maid before. I have pictures. I'm not going to show it. You just got to believe me. <laughs> was it worth that? Yes. Was she cute? Most definitely. Did I get her number? No. <laughs> Okay, yeah, like jokes aside, obviously. I mean, all that was true. There was no jokes. Well, yes. Should Flame infiltrate 2024 Anime Expo? I'll probably go. I will dress up, like as as my. I'll dress up as me. Uh, I'm not gonna wear. There's no reason for me to wear a wig, cause my hair is naturally red. So like, you gotta find me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm a. I'm gonna hide my hair. Then you'll be like, okay, who's Flame? On the star, Flame. Necesita contarlo. On the star. And I'm going to be like, boom, I'm out. Peace. Hold up. No, I'm scared. Okay, never mind. I was, I was going to disappear. I was like, nah, that's too much work. Anyways, obviously, the original. Uh, Please go watch the original video. Go like yourself. Go watch it yourself. Please support Young Young Tales. Woo woo. And uh, support me by liking and subscribing to me. I'll see y'all at the next anime convention. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. I'm kind of broke. Anyways, bye-bye.